Every two minutes, a train crosses the same 114-year-old bridge over the Hackensack River, one of the busiest rail choke points in the entire Western Hemisphere. It's called the Portal Bridge, and it swings open for boats, but often fails to close. Sometimes, it takes sledgehammers to lock it back into place. Below the Hudson River, the only two tunnels into New York are so old they were flooded by Superstorm Sandy and never fully recovered. But now, after decades of delays, America is finally building something massive, the $16 billion Gateway Program. A new tunnel, a new bridge, a new future for the most important rail line in the country. It's the largest federal transit investment ever and if it fails, the entire Northeast Corridor could grind to a halt. So, can the Gateway Program save America's most critical transportation lifeline in time? And if it's so vital, what took so long? Let's find out. To really understand why the Gateway Program matters, we have to go back in time to 1910. That's when the Pennsylvania Railroad did something amazing. They built two tunnels under the Hudson River. These tunnels connected New Jersey straight to the brand new Penn Station in Manhattan. For the first time ever, people could ride a train right into the middle of New York City. But those tunnels were built for a different time. They weren't made for today's world. Not for the 42 Amtrak trains that run every day. Not for the 388 trains from NJ Transit, and definitely not for the 200,000 people who use them each day just to get to work, school, or home. Then came a disaster. In 2012, Hurricane Sandy slammed into the Northeast. Salt water rushed into both tunnels, flooding them completely. That water didn't just dry up and disappear, it damaged everything. It corroded wires, ruined cables, and ate away at the concrete. Since then, train delays have become a nightmare. Between 2014 and 2018 alone, problems in these tunnels and on the nearby Portal Bridge caused over 2,000 hours of delays. This isn't about if one of the tunnels breaks down, it's about when. There was only one early plan to fix things. It was called the ARC Project. The idea? Build brand new tunnels under the Hudson. But in 2010, New Jersey's governor, Chris Christie, pulled the plug. He said it was just too expensive and would go over budget. That left a big gap. So what came next? In 2011, Amtrak stepped in with a bold idea, the Gateway Program. Far more than a single replacement for ARC, this plan was bigger, bolder, and designs to overhaul the entire system between Newark and New York. A new tunnel, new bridges, a total upgrade. But the plan didn't go so smoothly. Why not? Politics got in the way. The Trump administration said it was just a local project and pulled federal support. Without that help, the project stalled. Costs went up. Deadlines slipped away. So what changed? In 2021, things turned around. President Biden made the Gateway Program a national priority. That gave it the push it needed. And in 2023, after years of delays, construction finally began. It took more than 10 years of waiting, but now the Gateway Program is back and it's finally moving forward. This isn't only about replacing old infrastructure, it's about saving a corridor that carries 20% of the nation's GDP. It's about protecting the rail artery that feeds the Northeast's economy. So what exactly is being built? And why is it so hard? Let's start with the biggest bottleneck of them all, the Portal Bridge. This bridge has been around since 1910. It swings open over the Hackensack River to let boats go through. Sounds simple, right? But here's the catch. When it closes, it doesn't always work. About one out of every seven times, it fails. Trains can't pass. Workers have to go out and hammer the tracks back into place. 
It's a 293 meter steel nightmare that slows down every train running between Washington and Boston. The solution? The Portal North Bridge, a modern, fixed span structure rising 15 meters above the river. No more swinging, no more delays. Work kicked off in 2022, then came a major milestone in mid-2024. After a 30-hour journey down the Hudson River, the first giant arch was floated into place. Two more arches followed, one after the other. If all goes as planned, the first track will be ready for trains by 2026. The second track? That's expected a year later. When finished, this one bridge could finally fix one of the most jammed parts of America's rail network. But here's the big question. What comes next? That's where the Hudson Tunnel Project takes the spotlight. This part of the plan includes building a whole new two-track tunnel under the Hudson River. It stretches from the Palisades in New Jersey all the way to Penn Station in Manhattan. But here's the real challenge. It also means rebuilding the old North River Tunnel and doing it all while keeping trains running. How do you do that? First, workers had to make the riverbed safe. The Hudson River Ground Stabilization Project pumped grout, basically thick cement, into more than 365 meters of soft river bottom. Think of it like filling pudding with concrete. This keeps the ground from falling in when they start digging. Some work paused for sturgeon spawning season, but it picked back up in summer 2024. Meanwhile, back in New Jersey, crews are getting ready to dig. Tunnel boring machines will launch from a site in North Bergen. But before that could happen, they had to build the Tunnel Avenue Bridge and move a ton of underground pipes and wires out of the way. That part started in 2023 and should finish by 2025. Once tunneling kicks off in late 2025, each massive boring machine will slowly dig its way through solid rock and soft silt, heading straight for Manhattan. It's a long journey. Each one will need two full years to finish the job. But that's not all. Over on the New York side, workers are focused on something just as important, the last piece of the Hudson Yards concrete casing. Think of it as a strong 152 meter long concrete tunnel that connects the new tracks to Penn Station. Two parts were built earlier. Now section three is in progress and should be done by 2026. So when will trains finally use the new tunnel? The plan is for both tubes to open by 2035. After that, it's time to fix the old ones. The North River tunnels, used every day right now, will be shut down one at a time for a full rebuild. That work should wrap up by 2038. But the Gateway program isn't stopping there. Another key upgrade, the sawtooth bridges in Kearney Meadows. These old rail bridges have been around since the early 1900s. They're bottlenecks. Replacing them and expanding from two tracks to four will make it much easier to move trains around. Then there's the potential Burgeon Loop, a connection to bring trains from northern New Jersey directly into Penn Station without transfers at Secaucus Junction. If built, it could revolutionize commuting for tens of thousands of riders. Right now, it remains in the planning stage. And finally, we get to New York Penn Station crowded, old, in need of a serious upgrade. Moynihan Train Hall opened in 2021. It's a good start, but is it enough? Not quite. That's why plans are moving forward for Penn Station South, a new annex that will bring seven more tracks and give more space for passengers. So what does this all mean? These projects are turning a 16-kilometer stretch of railroad into a modern 21st century corridor. But make no mistake, getting here wasn't easy. Politics got in the way. The Hudson Tunnel was stuck in limbo for years. Who supported it? President Obama did. Who pushed back? President Trump. For a long time, funding battles were fought from state capitals all the way to Washington. It wasn't until the Biden administration stepped in that things really started moving. 
Now, over $12 billion in federal money is locked in. New York and New Jersey are picking up the rest. Every piece of steel, every part, every agreement, all of it came with a fight. Because if this fails, it's not just about late trains, it's a big hit to America's economy. What do you think? Can the Gateway Program truly save America's rail future? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications.